And welcome back for what I dearly hope is truly the last time to XCOM Enemy Unknown. We are about to use the ethereal device. This is the final step. Once the ethereal device is triggered, all forward progress will be stopped. Any current research at the foundry or blah 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 without me completely injured, certain the infernal will not be healed. Blah 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 blah. Yes, I want to proceed. Who do you want to use? With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. Assault on the temple ship. Okay. Once out of the infirmary, we have our full team together. Uh. So if you play this on uh, Iron Man, they actually do something kind of interesting where they give you a chance to run through the mission uh, as like a psychic dream thing where you get a chance to be it on your own, and then they give you a second chance at it because... It's a pretty fucking hard mission. Though, to be fair, like, uh, the, the Iron Man bonus uh, assault you get is actually significantly harder than the normal one because you don't get to pick your team. You basically just get uh, what the game considers to be your best soldiers with the gear that they're currently holding uh, sent in. So, it's not exactly easier, but um, they do give you another shot, which is kind of interesting. Then they, if you fail, you get this. Assault. Okay, team. Everyone's armed to the teeth with the best stuff we've got. Oh boy. This is XCOM, baby. Let's do this. Fucking America. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm jittery. Woo! Prepare for deployment, strike one. Give me assault. I have the strength to face the ethereals on their own ship. The future of humanity is at stake. Ex expect extreme resistance. Force entry into the Hebel ship bridge. The volunteer must survive. Okay, here we go. Final assault. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna be. Long have we watched and waited. So many promising subjects. So many efforts. And now, after untold trials, the new one emerges to face the rigors of our collective and enduring physical. Uh, yeah, so I think I accidentally skipped our part of the dialogue there, but yeah, basically, they're just talking about how 
you know, they have been looking for us for forever. There have been all these, you know, crappy versions that, that really haven't worked out so well. But we have the ability to shoot things and use psionics. The best of both worlds! So, now we have to go and shoot a bunch of the crappier versions of the things that they wish they'd found before us. AKA all the enemies we've been fighting up to this point. Makes sense. So yeah, we start basically just by finding a couple of sectoids, and at this point, that's not an issue. <laughs> Critical hit on the first go. Only three damage, but still. This is a war of attrition. So... Any hits suck. This, though, is crazy. This is, like, the ridiculous one. I'm gonna show this off right now because... I'm gonna be able to use it again. The, the time for it's really long, but... I'm not gonna need it. Yep, just keep on going. Oh fuck, I forgot about that shit. You know, I'm restarting the mission. Um, that was fucking stupid. That was really dumb. And uh, yeah, that was my own damn fault. And actually, I I didn't even realize that could happen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not letting my heavy, who is going to be really essential for this mission, get basically completely toasted in the first. Oh man, that was that was super dumb. All right, let's actually listen to this first part though, and not accidentally skip past it. It's pretty good, is what I'm getting at. He yeah, has moved everyone up kind of slowly. So I guess this line right here on the ground is the trigger for the, uh... Yeah, next bit of dialogue. So actually, I'm gonna screw around with them by... Not crossing immediately. Why can't I shoot him? Oh, can't okay, move him far in the same turn. You could, but you can't. Oh yeah, because of the plot door, he's actually blocking the one exit. So, you just move in there. Make way, make way. Mind fray. Actually, I probably should have mind controlled him. <laughs> That'd been hilarious. But I didn't. Whatever. Look sharp. Enemies rolling up. And sectoid commander. They're moving around the side. So yeah, I'm kind of guessing he's probably gonna go for just a real quick, uh, yeah, kind of mind control. Or not.
Man, they can hear you. Oh, it's go time. Real di oh god, no. More of them. Are those also commanders? My position. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get the hell out of there because those are both sectoid commanders. They can both mind control me. That's, that's terrible. You over here and introduce him to Sparky. There you go. The, so that uh, the scope helped out a lot there, I'm assuming. That point blank shot that I had a 3% chance of missing. Whatever. Introduce him to America. Boom! Uh, yeah, and then everyone else just sort of get down here because there are a bunch of sectoid commanders. And I don't want to deal with that shit. Ain't trying to hear that. I hear they have mad weapons too. Oh, no, that's, that's where I should have said that. Whatever. Okay, you get over here. As soon as we see those, uh, yeah, dudes, we're going to shoot him. Hold her down, partner. Okay, and they're, uh, they're boosting each other. Like Palpatine is what I'm saying. As we all know, Palpatine's behind it all. Apparently, the scope didn't help that damage. much. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, you can bull storm. It's a rain and misses. Hallelujah, it's a rain and misses. Amen. Gonna go out, miss every single shot. Hey, you hit. Didn't actually kill him, but you hit. And that's what's important. Hostiles pacified. Boom. Sucker. Okay, you just run ahead. I'm gonna deal with those commanders. Though in a turn when I actually have more than two people readied. Because, you know, cautiousness. Now, I haven't seen... We got relatively few, uh... You know, uh... Oh, God damn it. Uh, cyber discs. This time around. Yeah, normally I get uh, a lot more of those. Wait, who's aiding who? Damn it. I think he's aiding him. Wait. Alright. Wait, oh, they're both just sectoids. Whatever. Man, I was getting all bent out of shape thinking they were sectoid commanders and they were sectoids this entire time. I'm done goofed. Everybody else is run up. Man, I feel stupid. I was amazing uh, their Archangel armor to go flying around. Probably a mistake. But whatever, I'm going to use that later on when I'm actually pacing off against the 
seriously dangerous enemies. Right now I'm just facing some sectoids and cyberdists and whatnot, and that's not really too risky. Clump, 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 clump. I just say I'm gonna miss the uh, running through a metallic, uh, over a metallic floor wearing metal boots. I don't know why, but that rhythmic sound is kind of nice. Rocked and loaded. Rock and rollin'. See, I can do it too. You're not special. Uh, you run there. Eyes on target. You want this? Yeah, so as you can see, they, um... They got me flanked! Got dicks! These aliens. And, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty open about the fact that they're kind of massive dicks. BAM! That protects, uh, Mooney. Let's get you over here to actually also try and shoot someone. Fortunately, I don't need to run and gun anymore because I can just do this. Just <laughs> oh, she's such a joker. Oh, man. At Twilight, her, she, her and her, your nightmare is just starting. The uh, You're going to die horribly. She's crazy. <laughs> such a card. What a spirit. Wow, such psychic. Uh, okay, so anyway, where are many people? You is here. Just keep on running ahead to see what we can pop. Nothing there, but experience and lots and lots of blood have taught me that. Yep. Just because you don't see something immediately, don't mean it ain't there. Also, never trust a heavy to no shoot way. anything. Let's start with the one in the back. X-ray neutralized. And always rely on the snipers. I'm actually looking forward to uh, enemy within adding in uh, soldiers because honestly, the snipers need something that aren't as stupidly that are as stupidly overpowered as they are. They really do. No longer a threat. Oh jeez. Alright, yeah, keep them coming. Yep. They're moving to flank me. Son of a B. Son of a B. You're gonna run, gun. Going in for the kill. Yes, you are. Uh, Ken, so. Can you hit him? Yes, you should be able to. Well. Really don't know what I should have expected there. Moving to firing position. Fortunately, I have Sergeant Badass around, so. No problem. Ain't worried. Kablamo! That's nice. Wait, well, made me feel sorry for the damn chrysalids. Enemy troops. Well, a little sorry for the chrysalids. They're still chrysalids. 
They still tear open people's, you know, sternums and implant them with alien eggs. Uh, can you hit it? Yes, you can. At least you should be able to. But of course. You actually hit something and you ping it for two damage. Okay, if that thing tries to crawl up here, shoot it. Shoot it a lot. Okay, can you shoot him there? Alright, there we go. I'm playing Russian roulette with uh, these guys. Like, will you be able to hit from this place? Or will it tear your face off? You have flute? Aw, oh, dude! I can't imagine the last time we had flute root down the Escalon base. One of these aliens are such dicks. They're the one percent, the fruit havers. Don't know where the hell I'm going with that, but you know. Alright, everybody, move up. And uh reload. Locked and loaded. Yup. Reloading. Green to go. You do not want to see the next come team that does not have bullets. Here. Now you guys have such high expectations, it's like Oh, well, you guys, you know, yeah, you guys are loyal, you're smart, you do all these awesome things, you're infiltration units, you're great. But you're not exactly all that uh, psychically gifted, and we prefer our alien species to be gifted in the psychic way, so... No offense, but we're kind of looking for something else right now. I'm sure you understand. I'm under fire. Yes, get closer to the person with the mega shotgun. This is a, is a plan that cannot possibly fail. Uh oh. No! No! Oh, it's like three damage. Wow, you are just terrible. Oh, I forgot these guys were poison. I actually did. It's been so long since I fought them that I'd actually kind of forgotten that they were poisonous. Are you wearing Titan armor? I could have run straight through the poison and been completely fine. Blood derp. There we go. So, uh, since no of my people are wearing Titan armor, I'm going to take a turn or two to let the uh, poisonous friggin' gas dissipate from the only way through. It's killing time. Yeah, it never really caught on as a replacement for morphin' time. I wonder why. Now, if they had like a Machina right now, this would just suck. Just hold team down. Holy crap! Yeah, this is this is unpleasant. Ready to engage. Everybody, um, yeah, just we're green to go. Take a second, line up. Enjoy a breather. Or not. We have a single... Uh, dude running around down here. Fry his brain if you'd be so kind. 
yeah so anyway about that smoke break let's all just uh you know take a second I even smoke but i like calling it a smoke break because of the 50s or something anyway let's all go to the lobby let's all go to the lobby let's all go to the lobby and have ourselves a snack or a treat a treat i think it's a treat prices can't be beat something in your feet Let's all go to the lobby and then babadoo. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, there we go. And, yeah, you know, the ethereals have actually bothered to bring along, uh, you know, canisters of the, uh, you know, like, fill the, uh, the Thinman with even more gas. That could have been really... <laughs> that really could have slowed down the invasion. What's in here? I got a bad feeling about this one. I got a really bad feeling about this one. That is a big empty room. That type of big empty room that often has horrible, horrible goddamn things in it. Yeah, I don't want to pop anything in there until my team is actually ready. Because, yeah, bad juju, man. Bad juju. Is that racist? I, I mean, Got like, something over here. Sort of, There you go. It is as we had hoped. The new one has surpassed all they have come before. And with such great confidence, so soon a gift. Uh, more mutons. <laughs> you just came and do anything right, can you? I am so disappointed. Your nightmare is just starting. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, so since we're dealing with mutons and I'm not such closely I'm worried. Okay, muton berserker, that's pretty bad, but nothing I can't deal with. Yeah, all I need to do is just lure this guy up here so that these snipers can take him apart. Yeah, they're really scary when you're not prepared. But when you have, you have as many shotguns and snipers as I do, there was a little bit of their terror factor. Okay, you just go over here and shoot him. Hi! Wow! That was really just expected at this point. Really don't know why I even bother being surprised. I mean, it's not even funny anymore. It's gotten old. But why can no one see him? The hell is with this muton? Okay, you know, run and gun. Screw it. I'm not taking an extra shot because no one can see this stupid asshole. Oh, of course, and there's one right over there. Whatever. Shoot him. Ha! 
Seems I'm not the only one who misses horribly stupid alien stupid heads. Anyway, uh, yeah, why don't you run over here so you can actually hit something for once. That'd be a fun change of pace. Well, honestly, what I'm really wanting her around for is double damage versus, uh, please tell me I, yeah, okay. Uh, double damage versus robots, which will be great against the cytopod, and the rockets, which are going to be amazingly useful for the final confrontation. Oh, did, did you see something temporarily? Did it? I saw that thing pop up with like a. By the way, you see something? Where is this Newton? Ow! Ah, oh, son of a bitch! That might have been a mistake. Okay, I need to... Okay. Put him down. This is really just a terrible position. What the fuck? What is it with these guys and like this little bit right here? like? They have the weirdest goddamn, like, what does and does not count as acceptable, you know, firing arc, as an acceptable firing arc on this little, on that, uh, on those two sides there. It's really annoying. And you're gonna get hurt for that. Great. That was admittedly partly my own fault, but I really expected people to be able to freaking shoot them. Right. And now he's hurt, which is going to hurt his ability to shoot, which is going to suck. Because I kind of need him to shoot ethereals later on. Ugh, this is not great. An artificial warrior created to supplement the limitations of the many failures. Crafted with a singular purpose, it ultimately Okay, so yeah, two sectopods. This is what I was waiting for. Basically what I'm going to try to do here is not pop them, because I don't think they've actually been triggered yet. Yeah, okay, so if I can get in there and get in a decent shot, I can make this work. It's not easy, but I can do this. Question is, do I fire a shredder rocket first, or do I try and hit them first? And okay, can't hit him with a shredder rocket. So okay, this is okay. I've got a visual. Please do not miss. You have one job, and it is to not miss. Yes. Hell yeah! Goddamn America! If I can take down one of them, then I'm in a significantly better position. Wait, no! No! Don't shoot the other one! No! Set him up, knock him down. Okay, run gun. I still need to kill one of these guys. They hurt. So much. No! Yeah! No shit, okay. Oh wait, hold on. So it did hit with one of those things, it just didn't hit enough. Not hitting enough is still, it's still something at least. Okay, what's my chance to hit there? 42. 47. I just need to hit one. Okay, 
Okay, I don't know if... No, no, I'm not going to risk losing Whedon on this thing when I'm pretty sure I can take this thing down one go. I know I can't take it down one go right now. And I absolutely can't risk her dying because I would lose uh, the mission. So you just hunt her down now. And it's going for her, of course. Ouch. Yeah, still need her rockets. And his med packs would be really useful. Fortunately, yeah, he didn't ki didn't kill anyone. You go over here. Oh, really? And he gets a reaction shot. That also hits him. That's that's just mean. Don't move. You'll be fine. Yeah, fortunately, I got those. Advanced med types because Jesus. Yeah, I just want to kill this thing. Rather fire it. That was significantly less effective than I was really hoping it would be. Run gun. I just want to double tap this thing with the most powerful gun available. 60... Oh, hold on. Seventy not. God damn it. You are quick blanking it. And you missed. You double missed. How? It's a giant... Oh, wait, shit. I could have fired twice if I didn't move. God damn it. Oh, and you missed it. Of course. You missed it. Shit, 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 shit. Hit it with everything. Can I hit it with a rift that won't kill my own troops? I think I can if I angle this right. Oh, thank God. Come on. Balls. Our fear grows as we question the worthiness of our selection. This is magic. starting. I am knowing badass die if I can help it. Okay. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure, certain I can get down there and save her, as long as we take care of these guys first. Fuck you, you motherfucker. Out of the game. God damn right. You. You're going to do something right for once. Now, Doc, you know the drill. We're going to use up all the med packs we have available to bring her back and then heal her. If she doesn't come back with a decent hit point. Oops. 
This has not been good. Revive. Back into the fight, soldier. Uh, how? We just revived the person. You useless dumbasses haven't been able to figure that one out, have you? Okay, yeah, sure, sure, we're kind of hurt, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, the team is not doing so well. But whatever, we can still pull this out. Plants all right and she's already in the hole. Probably gonna want to actually wait a few turns to let her ability revive because... Yeah, basically we're going up against an uber ethereal. We're gonna want rockets, we're gonna want rifts, we're gonna want absolutely everything humanity has to throw at them. the psionic, you know, boosters to prevent mind control. We're going to, you know, ensure that we have the best chance we have. Because god damn it. This is gonna be nasty. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is gonna be nasty. Okay. Yeah, I want to get Toilet's Rift back. Oh, uh, it's... Oh, it's back in one turn. Well, that's not going to be an issue. You have one last heal left. I want to use it on... Sweden, because that will... bring his aim back up. Or I could use it on... Badass so I can get one decent charge in. This number's going to be more important. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. Okay. So now Sweden is going to throw this battle scanner into the next room, if I can. Eyes in the sky. Basically, I want to see if I can get a look at them before they can see me. Nope. I cannot. Okay, well in that case, I'm not going to trigger them if I can. I'm going to put you there. Put you here. Take you. Move you over here. No, wait, shit, wrong button. Whatever. You're not there. You need to be back here. Loading. Ready to rock. You gotta reload. I'm ready. Oh, Christ almighty. Okay. You go up here. You're right here. No med packs left, so you're basically at this point just a shitty soldier, but... Back in. Use sign. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use Twilight Inspire because I'm not gonna use that ability again for her. Whereas, Ted must, might still actually be able to use it. Alright, and everyone else bunker down for one turn so that we actually have our sniper in the condition. We're green to go. So, yeah, that should hopefully prevent the uh, whole part from getting mind controlled. Okay, she doesn't move, so I can hopefully get a shot off. Oh great, and Sweden has to move, because I put him in a bad position. Okay, I kind of expected them to all be, you know, popping at this point, but, okay. 
I'm sort of really worried right now because this wasn't part of the plan. At any moment they could all pop and then I'll be in trouble because I didn't plan for this. Um, why is it good luck is causing me to freak out worse than bad luck? I don't know. Okay, come on guys. You can do this. We're almost there. We're almost there. The final room. Nothing to worry about. It's just the final room. This is all building up to this. Okay. We can do this. You are the most expendable, I'm afraid. So you... Move up. Look sharp. Enemies rolling up. There it is. The boss. Behold the greatest failure of the Imperial Ones. We who failed to ascend as they thought we would. Oh, uh, so they're we not ethereals. So, yeah, they were trying to uplift us out of some bizarre plan of another alien race. One potentially significantly even worse than the Ethereals. Can you say fuck? Because I can. Hit with a short rocket. We can kill the boss, then we win. That's what we're going to try and do. There are two ethereals up on those other sides as well. Did that not hit the super ethereal? Yes. Oh shit. Yeah, so it can do that. It can throw shots back at you. Yeah, because that's fair. Keep doing the ethereal one. Fuck yes. Do not mess with Twilight. You need our guidance on this hour. Without us, what are you? And was killed with a bonus from the executioner, Rick. <laughs> Ricky Mandy, motherfucker. Welcome to America. South America, because you're off the coast of South America. Fuck off. You don't mess with any America. That's not good. I don't like that heroic music. Okay, it's actually uh, Moon and Joel who were. Uh, what the hell is together. happening? The ship itself is behaving like a dying star, becoming a black hole. Yeah, that's not good. At this distance, the Earth will be consumed. That's doubly not good. Hey Twilight, you mind saving the world again? Because that would be super great. Oh, this ain't good. Okay, come on. All I have to do is grab the giant- Oh, fuck. Oh, the Sky Ranger gets destroyed. Central, I'm bugging out. The package is not on board. 
Waited as long as I could, sir. Thanks for nothing, Dick. Sir, the alien ship is in motion. What direction? What direction? Up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, snap, Sagan. It's actually a fairly pretty shot there. Yo. So, just for the record, she blew up the ship. It did not turn into a black hole. And Earth, yeah, just survived because black holes being two feet away from the planet, you know, make it okay. No, she, she blew it up, so it wouldn't become a black hole. Major Twilight, we salute you. India is proud of your sacrifice and will be honored with a gigantic statue in your honor. Enemy unknown. Which I guess actually is kind of appropriate because we don't know who the main big bads who were responsible for this shit was. So, enemy still remains unknown. God damn it. Victory. Normal difficulty. Off. Overall score, you. 1,002. Oh, wow. World is crazy. Days until victory, 195. So, world is... Okay, so world is crazy high because they decide to go forever. Battles 1, 31. Battles 1, 42. Battles lost, 0. 0 0.18. Interesting. Not sure how that works. Uh, aliens killed. Significantly less. Man, they kill a lot in those battles. Uh, soldiers lost, 13. World, 9. Funding countries... 15, world, 12.9. So this is like averages or something? I don't know. Countries lost 0, 1.92, and 4. Okay, so losing two uh, countries would have been fine. Uh, days until alien base cleared, 90, 138. So yeah, people like to take the time for the alien base. Until the alien base recovered, 180, 259. Days until uh, soldiers discovered, significantly faster. Average damage per shot. <laughs> significantly lower. Number of turns per battle. Also lower. One shot kills. Definitely lower. One shot deaths. Actually, pretty much average. Aliens killed uh, by explosions. Uh, I, aliens killed. Soldiers lost. Average shots. Blah blah blah. Yeah. A lot of statistics. Soldiers hired. Okay, so normally people hire a few more than I do. You've a shot down, slightly less than everybody else. But yeah, just generally speaking, I did a little bit worse, but also a little bit faster than everyone else. Aim assist these. Huh. I used more interceptor, uh, I, I more boarded, uh, you know, attacks, but, uh, so I tend to use a lot less modules than people do. What the fudge? That that has to be just worldwide numbers or something. The, what? Is this like... World stats or like... Available? I don't even... What the hell? Okay. Earned. Jeez Louise. Whatever. It's over. Credits roll. Firaxis Games. Oh, design team designed by Jack Solomon. You rock sucking, son. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, lots of names going by. Thank you all for sitting around and watching me play XCOM Enemy Unknown. I might do an XCOM Enemy Within thing when that comes out, but if I do, it's going to be a significantly more just, like, blind LP of doing like big hour long chunks because god damn it this thing took what is this like 27th video oh my god yeah that's that's well over 10 hours and is a very long game very long let's play Oy vey. next time probably gonna try and play a half-life mod called uh sorry lost my train of thought a half-life mod called 
get a life. We have a change of pace, a bit shorter, uh, some weird things to talk about on that one, but that should be fun. Uh, in a couple of weeks uh, after recording this, this is on, I'm recording this on Halloween actually, October 31st, but yeah, in 12th, on the 12th, Enemy wi XCOM Enemy Within comes out, and we will all get to find out how good that is together. Uh, got big hopes for that one. Really like this game. Uh, several times actually really early on in this Let's Play, I was actually sort of regretting having to uh, do this as a Let's Play, because I'd be playing and I'd be like, man, I just want to play this game uh, without recording. I just want to like sit down and just play a game for fun, because I'm having so much fun with this game. Uh, by the end, obviously, I was having a little bit of trouble just going like, oh, jeez, another recording. I need to sit down, do the same thing again, kind of running out of things to say. Uh, so that's my one concern about doing Enemy Within, just running out of things to say, uh, <clears throat> as I'm doing right now. But we'll see how that turns out. Uh probably going to, you know, I, I, as much as by the end of this I was just going to be like, oh god, thank god it's over, I do enjoy the hell out of this game and really, really encourage other people to play it. Sid Meier, love, love Sid Meier so much. Doing a Let's Play of uh, Civ 5 over on Muffin Lone Productions, so you should check that out. Uh, yeah, probably going to just stop this recording before the credits have done rolling because god, this just, there's a lot of them. Games take a lot of... Oh, are we on the production babies? Okay, no, now we're going to 2K games. Nope, not going through all 2K games. I'm sorry, I'm sure you're lovely people, but we're not going to watch all of your names go by. So, thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be done fairly soon. And, uh, oh, have a, have a nice, uh, nice whatever day this comes out on. <laughs> see you then.